evening. Good evening, everyone. So let us start with sum number one, uh, which talks about calculation of interest. Let us try to understand this from scratch. Mr. A enters into higher purchase agreement after accepting the following terms of Mr. B. With Mr. A, Mr. A is the vent, uh, is the entrepreneur, you may presume, or is a buyer or is a purchaser because he's entering into higher purchase agreement. After accepting the terms of Mr. B, then who is Mr. B? B is seller or vendor. Now, B has kept certain terms. Term number one, the cost of the asset would be 10 lakh rupees. Term number two, down payment would be 1 lakh rupees, which has to be paid immediately. <laughs> then, four equal installments along with interest at 15% per annum will be charged. These are the three important terms of the agreement. And we have to calculate interest paid by Mr. A. What is question demanding us? Question says interest calculate connectly both. So rest all the things, whether you think about depreciation, whether you think about installment, they are least bothered. Why? Because the question is being asking us to calculate interest. Who is Mr. A entrepreneur? So entrepreneur kitna interest pay karega ye hame calculate karna hai. Now, before you go ahead and do this calculation, whether it is related with interest or it is related with installment, you have to always use this table. What is this table? This table shows calculation of an installment. Since this table, which is for calculation of installment, also include interest, so that is why we have to always use this table for calculating interest as well. By default, installment nahi calculate kiya to interest right nahi aega. So that is why we have to do it. Now, the next thing. Question is very simple. 10 lakh rupees ka asset hai. Maine down payment kitna kiya? 1 lakh rupees ka down payment kar diya hai. So what is the balance amount? 10 lakh minus 1 lakh. Use your calculator and calculate, it would be 9 lakh rupees. Chalo, hai. So we got the balance amount, 9 lakh rupees. It means, many Mr. B ko, B con hai vendor. Vendor ko, 1 lakh rupees ka down payment de diya. Okay, out of 10 lakh rupees. So ab mujhe usse kitne lakhs of rupees abhi bhi dene baakke 9 lakh rupees. But this 9 lakh rupees, as per the terms and conditions, if you could see, ye 9 lakh rupees ko mujhe 4 equal installment mein pay karna hai. That is what they are saying, right? 4 equal installment. Maine asset lik diya in the table. Done. Down payment lik diya in the table. Done. Where is the table? Check. I hope so. You can correlate. 10 lakh rupees, 1 lakh rupees, a balance, 9 lakh rupees. Mr. B, who is a vendor, will he leave this one lakh? Will he leave this uh, 9 lakh rupees? Of course not. But he has given us, that is to Mr. A, an option. Ki bhai ye 9 lakh rupees, na, you pay in four equal installments. It seems that Mr. B is so good, so nice. Ki if 9 lakh rupees ko hame pay karne ke liye mauka de diya in four equal parts, which means hum jab installment number one pay karenge, so 2 lakh 25,000 is 9 lakh rupees may say pay off kar denge first installment. Fit second installment may again 2 lakh 25,000 rupees. We'll see 9 lakh rupees jo dik raya mein, First installment may jo fixed component jo bolte hain hum two lakh twenty five thousand rupees ye pay hoga fir second installment may bhi 
हम टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज पे करेंगे थर्ड इंस्टॉल में भी टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड पे करेंगे और फोर्थ इंस्टॉल में भी टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड पे करेंगे फोर्थ इंस्टॉल में मतलब क्यों बिकॉज क्वेश्चन इज सेंग दैट वी हैव टू पे ऑफ इन फोर इक्वल इंस्टॉलमेंट नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज सिर्फ अगर नाइन लैख ही पे करना होता तो मिस्टर बी हमें ये ऑप्शन देता क्यों ही इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू चार्ज इंटरेस्ट सो नाउ लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड इंस्टॉलमेंट में दो पार्ट होते हैं एक तो फिक्स कॉम्पोनेंट एस सी दैट इज फिक्स कॉम्पोनेंट टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज कैसे कैलकुलेट किया जस्ट चेक नाइन लैख डिवाइडेड बाई फोर सिमिलरली वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट अब इंटरेस्ट भी कैलकुलेट करना होगा बट दिस इंटरेस्ट इज ऑन द बैलेंस अमाउंट जो भी आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट होता है ना जैसे यहां इट इज नाइन लाख रुपीज सो इस नाइन लाख रुपीज का फिफ्टीन परसेंट वी विल कैलकुलेट What is the fifteen percent? Let us calculate. Let us see the calculator. Calculator to us. जाते हैं और nine lakh. So fifteen percent. The moment we calculate fifteen percent, you will get one lakh thirty five thousand rupees. This is the interest. One lakh thirty five thousand rupees means. वेंडर ने हमें ऑप्शन दिया है कि हम चाहे तो फोर इक्वल पार्ट में पे कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसके लिए ही विल चार्ज इंटरेस्ट ऑफ फिफ्टीन परसेंट दैट इज वन लैख थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज दैट इज वॉट वी हैव गॉड इन दैलकुलेशन ये हमने कैसे कैलकुलेट